Shawnee sprinter Hannah Reinhardt is closing out her career with the Indians this spring before heading up to Tiffin to run in college. But her high school sports journey has been anything but normal. The senior has had to overcome many challenges, all of them completely out of her control. And this week's OIO Prep Profile shines a light on Hannah's determination, attitude, and strength, which helped her persevere through many obstacles. In 2012, as a sophomore, Hannah suffered a soccer injury that left her momentarily paralyzed. The girl put her foot out and I flipped over her whole entire leg and just landed on my neck and back and everything. I, was just, I couldn't move and it was probably the scariest moment of my life. With no feeling on her left side, Hannah was rushed to the hospital. Within an hour, movement in her hand returned and 18 hours later, she was able to walk again. The doctors diagnosed Reinhardt with Kahari malformation, a condition present at birth in which brain tissue extends into the spinal canal. In June of 2013, between her sophomore and junior years, Hannah underwent surgery. I was nervous. I've never had surgery, never broken a bone or anything. So I was like, I'm going to have brain surgery. That's a very big deal and very scary. Everything had gone great on the first surgery. And we thought, I mean, this was, this was a breeze. This was phenomenal. She was doing great. We went on a week's vacation with family, and while we were on the vacation, she developed a, a bump on the incision, and we come to find out that that was a cerebral fluid leak. Reinhardt required another surgery in July of that summer and a third in August. I just wanted to get better. I wanted to go out and do things. It was the summer. I wanted to have fun, go swimming. I couldn't even swim the whole summer, but it was just stressful. And then they were like, you need to go back into the hospital and have surgery again. And I'm thinking, goodness gracious, why is this happening to me? Hectic is, is beyond words. Uh, we found out that we had to become doctors uh, and do IVs and things for antibiotics and change them every eight hours. Despite facing three brain surgeries in three months, Hannah's faith and support from her family, friends, and church helped her persevere through a difficult time. Reinhardt has slight edge right now. Before my surgery, my church prayed over me. And that kind of helped me a lot. Like I had, I noticed how many people cared about me. Like there's a lot of times I honestly wanted to give up. I, I always told my dad and my parents, I was like, I can't do this anymore. Why is God doing this to me? But I realized I'm getting a second chance at this. So I have to stick through it and I have to be strong through it. And so God helped push me through. When September and soccer season rolled around and she was medically cleared to play, there was no way Hannah was going to be on the sideline. I was determined to go back play soccer. I told my parents, I was like, I'm going to play. Nothing's going to stop me. I'm definitely going to play. And then when I played, I was like, wow, this is, it's different because I could feel more pain, but I was just so happy to be on the field. Hannah played soccer and ran track during her junior year. And this year, she's focused solely on track, running in the 4x100, the 4x200, the 100, and the 200 for Shawnee. Next year, she will continue her running career at Tiffin University. But before that, Hannah wants to soak in her final high school moments. It's getting close to the end, and I don't want it to end because I know it's going to be harder next year. But I'm glad that I've got to spend time with the people I've been with. In Shawnee, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.